It's personal between me you, and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. Okay. <laughs> Exposed! The untouchable True School Sports Empire proudly presents something the boxing game's been missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, this is the official post sparring review because that motherfucking fight was a sparring session, all right? This is the post fight review for Shakur Stevenson versus Oscar Valdez. Shakur Stevenson completely and thoroughly outclasses Oscar Valdez. Exposed again. Eddie Reynoso exposed again. Um, listen, man, I'm happy. I'm, I'm really happy because this was a fight where, like, you know, I like, like this. This was one of to me. This was one of the most straightforward. To me, this was like the most straightforward fight to pick since Earl Spence and Danny Garcia. It wasn't a matter of like who was gonna win the fight. It was oh, it's just a matter of how would the person that we all knew was gonna win it. What 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 fashion would he beat his opponent in? That was really the real question. Now, um. Oscar Valdez, a lot of people came up to me saying that he's going to do this and he's going to do that and he's going to take Shakur to those deep, dark, uncomfortable places and I just wasn't buying it because I, I, we, we know what we got in Shakur Stevenson. Shakur Stevenson, when you talk about him, he's not just some sort of defensive, pillow fisted fighter and he's, and he, and, and yeah, there's a lot, there's a lot, a lot of layers to peel back and um, though I scored this fight very wide, I mean extremely wide, you know, it's it was so wide to the point where you could honestly make the make the debate in the case like is did Oscar Valdez do better than Jamel Herring against Shakur Stevenson? You know, I know, I know uh, he went the full twelve, but did he win more rounds? You know, that's, that's what I'm saying. Like, cause I only gave Valdez one round. I gave him one round, which I believe was the second or the third round. I can't remember, remember which round it was, but just a complete domination. You know, Shakur Stevenson showed everything. He showed the ability to. Land the jab, uh, uh, t to block punches with uh, his gloves, to slip punches when he needed to, to 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 smother the the punches of Valdez. So much so to the point, so much so to the point where when Valdez would get like real close to Shakur and try an uppercut or a hook, he couldn't even follow through on short short range punches because Shakur's defense was just so crafty and and, and so so clever. So um, it was just a, it was really one of the best performances I've seen in boxing in a long time and. Uh, if anybody had any doubts about Shakur Stevenson, because a lot the, the the big uh thing that I heard from the from the Valdez fans around the week was that, you know, Oscar Valdez is a power puncher. It, it, uh to the likes of which Shakur Stevenson never seen. But like I told you guys, Shakur Stevenson's a, a very versatile fighter. He he took a guy who was a coming off of the Burchelt knockout, which was knockout of the year last year. And uh he he became the more aggressive the longer the fight went, the more he became the aggressive front foot fighter. Um and that's that's the mark of a true pound for pound top tier superstar in the sport of boxing. Now there was a there was a lot of things that that went wrong for Valdez in this fight. Like he had a bad habit, especially early on in the fight, of of loading up on punches and and falling over. And this actually got him dropped because he missed. Uh, I think it was a hook. So much so to the point where like the ropes held him up, and then Shakur just came around him and hit him and dropped him to the floor. Um. You know, he was just too quick, too fast, too sharp, too good for Oscar Valdez. And listen, you know, credit to Oscar Valdez. He took the fight. He he got in the ring with there. And he now, now he can say for himself just how good Shakur Stevenson was. You know, he was just a little, little bit better at Oscar at everything. You know, when, when Valdez would land the right hand, Shakur would throw three, four punches back. When when Oscar Valdez would, would seem to be in a range to throw a big shot, Shakur would make it fall short by inches and counter him hard, you know. Um, it, just, it was just a, a virtuoso masterclass, top tier, creme de la creme performance from Shakur Stevenson. And listen, man, that flat tummy T couldn't save him this time. The flat tummy T with the fentamine in it could not save Oscar Valdez from the ass beating he got from Shakur Stevenson tonight. But um, all, all jokes aside, you know, I, I hope Oscar Valdez can come back and, and, and compete, you know, personally now. Like, look, now that he lost the fight. Uh, I would anticipate him fighting Emmanuel Navarrete because that was a fight that was discussed. But if there was any honor, any di any honor, or moral code from Valdez, he should go fight Robinson Cusensal because that that wasn't a clear win for him. I, I thought he, I thought he lost that fight. I've always said that while this fight is a great event to me in my eyes, this is number one versus number three at one thirty. I think Cusensal was better than Valdez. He's number two, but this is number one versus number three, and um, you know. 
As far as Shakur, like, he had a lot to say in the, in the post-fight interview. He said, look, I told y'all what I was going to do. I beat Eddie Reynoso. I beat, uh, I beat Canelo Alvarez. And I beat Valdez. I beat the whole team. So, uh, listen, man. We talk about Eddie Reynoso. We talk about him being the best trainer in boxing. Listen, life comes at you fast. And the tights can turn quickly. And, like, right now, I don't know if, I don't know who's keeping score counting at home. But I, but I sure as hell am. Eddie Reynoso fighters in big fights in the year of 2022 are, are over and two, you know, Julio Cesar Martinez got his ass waxed by Chalatito, and Oscar Valdez got his ass waxed by uh, Shakur Stevenson, so when they stepped up and fought some real killers, you know, the, the, not only did they lose, they even, they weren't even competitive, the fights were never in question, they were never just uh, able to really show that their quality on the night, and, and, and the guys that they fought show themselves to be on another stratosphere to the guys that have lost. And, and that's just, there's no other way to cut it up, slice it and dice it. Eddie Reynoso fighters and Eddie Reynoso himself are not getting it done. They were just like the best thing since sliced bread a year or two ago for the last 18 months. Now they're losing fights. Now you look at Can uh, Canelo versus Bivol, that's coming, on, that's going to happen, what, next next weekend? It'll be next weekend. Um, I think Canelo should win the fight, but Bivol is not to be overlooked. But getting back to Shakur, you know, I think if you didn't think he was a star tonight, if you had any doubts about him after tonight, you got to give him his credit now. And you, and you got to recognize him as one of the best fighters in the world. No mistakes about it. Cause, because two fights ago, when he fought Jeremiah Nakatilia um, and shut him out pretty much, maybe maybe he might have get maybe Nakatilia might have won a, as many rounds or maybe one round more than Valdez. But it wasn't far off from what Valdez did tonight. But when he fought the unknown Nakatilia at the time, he was criticized for boxing a, a a really good fight word to where he was extremely effective and um he apologized for it and no fighter should ever apologize for winning a fight by that wide of a margin um and then the narrative at the time came up that you know he's not a power puncher he can't hurt nobody he, we saw what he did to jamel herring he stopped jamel herring and then tonight he gave oscar Valdez a slow steady methodical beating all right and clowned him i mean he was he was literally looking at the clock like he was he was boxing Valdez, looking at the clock in the 12th round. He ran around the ring like two, two times while the clock was still going. And Valdez did nothing about it. And I, t I try to tell you guys, there's levels of boxing. There's, there's, there's average. No, there's, there's, solid, there's average. There's solid. There's good. There's very good. And there's great. All right? Oscar Valdez is very good. Shakur Stevenson is great, and there's a wide, there's a gap about as wide as the Atlantic Ocean of between very good and great, and we saw that tonight with Oscar, with uh, Shakur Stevenson. So yeah, man, listen, you can. Hopefully, people are giving him his just due. I hope, like, I, I, I've been, I've been in contact with some of the my friends who are like, you know, the, the Mexican fans. You know, they love, they support, they support Mexican fighters. You know, good on them. But like, I've, I talked to a couple already. Like, shout out to my boy Diego. He's one of them. He was talking about low blows and, and all this stuff from Shakur Stevenson. And it's like, okay, if he was throwing low blows, then what was that What was the extra grit and determination that Mexican fighters uh, normally tend to have? Why didn't Oscar, die? If, if there was really low blows, why didn't Oscar Valdez try to retaliate? I'm going to tell you why he didn't retaliate. Because at the end of the day, he wasn't even good enough to get close enough to him to retaliate. Because Shakur Stevenson was blocking, you know, smothering punches with the elbows, slipping punches, parrying punches. Just, just, just really put on a clinic and... A defensive masterclass um, against Oscar Valdez, and it's, listen, it's no shame on, on, on him. I'm ta I'm trolling a little bit with saying that you know the flat tummy T exposed. I'm trolling. I'm, tro I'm, tro I'm trolling. I'm having fun, but you know he he got in there with him, so I give him that respect. He can now speak from experience what Shakur Stevenson is like in that boxing ring, and um, he he can go on to fight maybe Navarrete or Jeremiah Nakatilia or give us the consent out rematch. But um, yeah, this is Shakur's night. A star is definitely born tonight. You know when I, when I interviewed Shakur Stevenson. Um, for this fight a couple months ago he looked me in my eye i asked i asked Shakur stevenson i said are you going to be the next do you think you're the guy that can step into those shoes and be, be that star that american boxing is looking for uh and he said yes i'm, I'm gonna go i'm gonna go i'm gonna step into those shoes of uh floyd mayweather sugar ray leonard sugar ray robinson you know that that that, that group of guys you're gonna see and he said it with conviction in his heart and tonight we saw that. So, um, yeah, I mean, Shakur Stevenson's be becoming everything that I always thought he was. And you know what's crazy? He's even taking it to another level. He's become the savior, the savior of Puerto Rican boxing. I mean, I had to watch, we've had to watch Alberto Machado and, and, and these guys like Langa and, and, and a whole host of guys be, be uh, 
Puerto Rican fighters not get the job done in big fights. But now we got Shakur Stevenson who's saving the Puerto Rican fighters. Puerto Rican boxing. So it's like a double win. It's a double win. American boxing has a new star. Puerto Rican boxing has a new star. So I'm, I'm, I'm good all the way around the board. But uh, yeah, I'm going to leave it at that. We'll talk more about this later. But these are my initial thoughts on Shakur Stevenson versus Valdez. Uh, cre credit to both fighters for making the fight happen. But yeah. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Make sure you guys take the time to subscribe. And like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just a kid from Daniel. So until next time, take care, guys. Thank you for watching another video on True School Sports, the home of boxing. If you made it this far, do me a favor and do yourself a damn favor. Hit that subscribe button and surely you will not be disappointed. You know, True School Sports bringing you the latest and greatest, the untouchable, you know, boxing content, interviews, news videos, breakdowns, live fight reaction extravaganza. We've got a great community of, of people here, boxing fans all over the world from America to the UK to Australia and on and on and on. So join the empire today. Hit that subscribe button. Take care and God.